With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is one bag A contains four red and five black bulbs. The other bag B contains six red and two black bulbs. A ball is taken from bag A and transferred to bag B. Now, a ball is taken from bag, bag B. Find the probability that the drawn ball, the ball drawn is red. So we have two bags here, two bags. Bag A contains four red balls and five black balls, and bag B contains six red balls and three black balls. Okay, now let even denotes the event. Even is event that a red ball event that a red ball that a red ball is transferred is transferred from bag a to bag b okay we will defi define a event like this so even denotes the event where we choose a red ball from bag A and transfer it to bag 2. Similarly, we will define an event E2. Event that event that a black ball is black ball is transferred. A black ball is transferred a black ball is transferred from bag A to bag B. From bag A to bag B. Okay, so we have in bag A we have four red and five black balls. So probability of event even that is probability of taking a red ball would be four by nine. Total balls are nine, and probability of event E two probability of selecting a black ball is 5 divided by 9 like this now if event even have happened already if event even have happened even is already occurred then the bag B would contain the bag B contains we have taken one red ball from bag A and put it into the bag B. So bag B count of red ball would increase to seven. So this is seven red and three black balls. Okay, so let E denotes here, E denotes the event that, E denotes the event that a red ball is drawn from, a red ball is drawn from the back B, is drawn from bag B. So, In this case, this is case 1, in this case, probability of happening of E when even have already happened would be equal to, now we have total 10 balls and out of them 7 are red, so this is 7 by 10. Case 2 we have, when we have, if event E2 have happened. E2 is already occurred. Okay, in that case, bag B would contain bag B, then bag B contains a 
okay we have selected a black ball from bag a in event 2 so count of black balls would increase so we are left with six red balls and four black balls so probability of happening of event e that is a red ball being drawn from bag b would be in second case six out of ten okay so we can say that required probability is from total probability theorem from total probability theorem probability theorem we can say that probability of happening of event e that is probability of drawing a red ball from bag b is equal to probability of e1 into probability of e by e1 plus probability of e2 into probability of happening of e when e2 have happened so this becomes equal to probability of e1 we have calculated 4 by 9 so this is 4 by 9 into this is 7 by 10 probability of e by e1 what? 7 by 10 plus probability of e2 is this we calculated 5 by 9 so this is 5 by 9 into 6 by 10 so this becomes 7 into 4 is 28 6 into 5 is 30 so 28 plus 30 divided by 90 this becomes 58 divided by 90 which can be written as 26 divided by 45 so this is the final probability that a red wall is drawn from bag b thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and after today